Uh, if you fuck with winning, put your lattice to the sky. How could it all make sense when I got millions on my mind? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cass from Castle's Critters here, and today you see the um, new intro that is temporary. My friend made it for me, and I'm very, very grateful. Um, it's just going to be here until I figure out how to make my own intro, if I even do that. Let's be honest, I'm pretty lazy. Um, I'm still a tad sick, but I'm feeling a lot better than I did before. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the cons of the Western Hognose Snake. Right here I have Milk, and she is no longer in Shed, so why not talk about her? Um, there is quite a few cons when it comes to Western Hognose Snakes, and I will be discussing them right now, so let's get to it. So one of the cons of the Western Hognose Snake is that they are rear fanged venomous. That is a pro because it's cool and badass and stuff like that, but it's also a con because um, I personally did have a reaction to my old hog nose's bite. Um, he had chewed on my left ring finger, which is this one, and I had a swollen hand for a good week or so, about five days more. Um, but I did have a reaction and it was not fun, it was pretty painful. I did not have to see any kind of physician for it, but it was pretty miserable. So there's that. Another thing is that baby western hognoses can be really picky as babies. Um, when you first get them, they may not be eating readily on frozen thawed, or they may not be eating off the of tongs, and they might need to be cup fed or fed live, etc, etc. Um, so they can just be pains in the butts, and they may go weeks and weeks and weeks without eating and get really thin, and then all of a sudden just eat. It's really really strange. It's kind of annoying, if I'm honest. So yeah. But another thing is their attitude. It is a pro, but it is also a con. Their attitude makes them a little harder to handle, and they're not like, say, I don't even know, um, ball pythons, I guess, that are pretty easy to work with from the beginning. Uh, these guys do hiss and musk and play dead, and it's just kind of a pain in the ass to originally deal with. It's adorable, don't get me wrong. I loved it when she hooded up like a cobra and she would hiss at me and she would play dead. I thought it was so cute, but obviously it means they're stressed. I didn't love the musk. The musk smelled really bad. Really, really bad, by the way. It smells terrible. But there's that. Um, another con that's also a pro is their keeled scales. Um, their kill scales are really freaking cute and they look like little rattlesnakes and it's super cool but a uh, con to it is that they do get stuff stuck under their scales and that's kind of crappy. They get uh, like substrate and stuff stuck under their scales and they get it stuck in their mouth and they're just really dumb snakes. They get it stuck everywhere. Your nostrils are huge. That is so weird. But they are so cute. Look at them. Oh, I'm sorry girl. But look at her, she is so adorable. Alright. You're so cute. Look at how cute she is. Yeah. Another con is that if your snake has mites, you cannot use the traditional mite treatment on them as they are allergic to permethrin, and that's something I noticed, or I learned the very, very hard way when my other hognose Mars had passed away. Uh, hognoses are pretty allergic to permethrin, and it's not fun to deal with. Uh, he is having seizures all night long, and he couldn't breathe, and he ended up just passing away, unfortunately. So if your snake has mites, then you cannot use any treatment with permethrin. I personally uh, soak them in Dawn dish soap, and it g kills the mites, honestly. So yeah. Hey, baby. And there she is. Another con that goes into their personality and attitude is that while some and most do tend to calm down and be very handleable like Milk is, uh, some don't and some will forever be hissy, forever be, um, you know, 
just a pain in the ass. But another thing is, while having a bad eater is a bad eater is bad, uh, having a good eater can be a little spooky as well because now that she's eating regularly and doing okay, I've had her chase me out of the cage for food before, and that's terrifying considering I've had a reaction to their bite before. It's not fun, not fun in the slightest. Uh, so yeah. But yeah. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm Cass, as you know, who else would it be? Uh, this is Milk, my hog nose. She is doing a thing right now. Um, I'm sorry if this video is a little short. Hog noses are just really freaking awesome, and there's not super many cons to them. They are really cool. They're really awesome snakes. I love them to death. But the cons are a little heavy with them, is all. But I want to thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I think I already said that. I don't know. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. That's what you're doing.